What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got David Benavidez who has elected to stay up at 175 pounds instead of activating his um his W well not activating instead of uh keeping his WBC interim title at 168 pounds, he has decided to stay at 175 pounds. Now, before I get into the article and before I read off possible opponent future opponents for David Benavidez, I wanted to address the um, the Canelo fanboys, which I love picking you guys apart. Um, I see a lot of y'all are, are trying to say, "Oh, he he he's ducking, he's ducking." First and foremost, Canelo just um, it's it's just been pretty much it's it's been announced that uh, that Canelo is finalizing his fight with Edgar Belanga. Secondly. David Benavides was not even an option for Canelo. Canelo has made it clear that he has no intentions on fighting David Benavides. So what is David Benavides supposed to do? At this point of uh, his time, or at this point in his career, instead of you guys criticizing David Benavides, you need to congratulate him because he's doing what's best for his career, okay? David Benavidez is not finna sit around and wait on Canelo Alvarez. He's uh, opted to take a, you know, take his career in his own hands and moving up to fight that more, even more dangerous opponents, be it Dimitri Bivol and Archer Better Beef. Dimitri Bivol having beaten Canelo Alvarez and Archer Better Beef, somebody that Canelo Alvarez would not even mention fighting at 175 pounds, okay? David Benavidez is in line to face the winner of that. So you can't call David Benavidez a duck when Canelo Alvarez has made it clear. He asked uh, the Saudis, um, the Saudis said that they were interested in making a fight at one particular time, offering 150 or uh, either 100 or 150 or whatnot. And Canelo Alvarez said he wanted 200 million to fight, um, to fight David Benavidez. After saying David Benavidez is not a draw, you then price yourself out and ask for $200 million to fight. The Saudis are like, bro, you can kiss rocks. Uh, we're not going to give you that. Um, you just, you know, pricing yourself out or whatever the situation may be. And now, um, and now, you know, we have a situation where, you know, David Benavidez is doing what's best for his career. And you can't knock him. Now, I do feel like at some point, if once David Benavidez moves up to 175, I won't be surprised if uh, David Benavidez, uh, Canelo, then out tries to make a fight with David Benavidez at 168 pounds or maybe even a catchweight of 170 for a title. Uh, I hope David Benavidez does not fall for that. Mark my words, remember this day. Um, I don't think that Canelo Alvarez will move, will move up to 175 to fight David Benavidez. But I definitely believe he will try to fight David, David Benavidez at 168 or catch weight at 170 once he become once David Benavidez becomes solidified at 175 pounds. Why would he do that for the casuals? Because he wants to drain David Benavidez. At that point, David Benavidez will no longer be able to make 168, not in a healthy, comfortable way, and that would give Canelo Alvarez a big advantage. All right. But for right now, he doesn't want to fight David Benavidez. He chooses to fight the likes of Edgar Belanga. I don't know how he deserves a fight over the, uh, David Benavidez, Jaime Magia. I don't know how he deserves a fight over David Benavidez, Jamel Charlo. I don't know how he deserves a fight at 168 over David Benavidez, um, John Ryder. I don't know how he deserves a fight over David Benavidez. So um, this is what Canelo is doing. So let me go ahead and get to the article and uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you drop your opinions because I want to hear what you guys got to say about this and we will move on with the rest of boxing because obviously we're beating the dead horse here well shout out to boxing news 24 it says uh david benavidez to remain at 175 targets world title shot all right um wbc president mauricio sulamo reports that david benavidez promoter samson liquids has informed that his fighter has chosen to stay at 175 and keep his WBC interim and mandatory position. Frustrated with the lack of title shots at 168, Benavides will vacate his WBC interim title at 168, which was useless given that the World Boxing Council wasn't showing signs of ordering a fight between him and WBC champion Canelo Alvarez. I want you guys to I want you guys to hear that. And in the as a matter of fact, um at the end of this video, I'm going to put where even De La Hoya, I put it in the last few videos where De La Hoya even stated, like, fam, dude has been, uh, he's been mandated to fight Canelo, or he's been uh, in position, um, David Benavidez, uh, they ordered him versus Canelo like three years ago, this, this stuff still hasn't happened, 
So I, I just, I just, just for you Canelo fanboys that like to sit, that want to sit here and all of a sudden say, if he really wanted the Canelo fight, he stay. Bro, Canelo. Anyway, we'll talk about it. It says the unbeaten Benavidez is the mandatory challenger to fight the winner of the October 12th fight between Arthur Benavidez and Dimitri Bivol. Those two will meet for the undisputed 175 championship at the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, in Saudi Arabia. Benavidez's decision will give up his WBC interim and mandatory spot at 168. Comes after today's news of, of undisputed super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez defending against Edgar Belanga. So I want you guys to think about that. When y'all say that he's... Cause I've seen and it, it 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 just bro, you guys are just delusional. But I don't I don't now as a matter of fact, I don't even think you're delusional. I think you guys know that Canelo is ducking him, but you just don't want to say it. Um, but this decision came after he decided to fight uh, Edgar Belanga, um, super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez defending against Edgar Belanga on sept on next on September 14th in a dual network broadcast. At the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Berlanga recently became the WBA. Recently became the WBA 168-pound mandatory earlier this year on February, defeating Padraig McCoy. Now, who has the better? Who has the better defeat? Um, Berlanga with M P Padraig McCoy or Benavidez with um, Demetrius Andre? Just, I'm gonna let you answer that. Benavides has already been waiting for his title shot as Canelo's WBC mandatory for two years since his win over David Lemieux on May 21st, 2022. With Terrence Crawford's name repeatedly mentioned as a potential opponent for Canelo's fight in the first quarter of 2025, it was evident that Benavides would be passed over again and would continue to be indefinitely. Financial awards at 175. Benavides can make a lot of money fighting Bibble versus Better Be rematch. I mean, I'm sorry, winner at two, in 2025. The only uncertain thing is whether the two champions will choose to fight a rematch, which would likely happen in the second. Uh, would likely happen in the second. Wait, what? Which would likely happen in the second half of next year? Okay, so. I mean, bro, uh, you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. If you Benavidez, you got to do what you got to do, man. You know, but let's let's um, let's look up the possible um, the possible opponents for David Benavidez moving up at 175. Let's see if we can find some big names. All right. So let's see here. Um. Obviously, in the WBC, we got Archer Better Beef, um, Joshua uh, Boatsy. That's a good name. Um, let me see. He just beat L L Alexander. No, that's number one is Joshua Boatsy. That's a good name. Alexander. Uh, we, he just beat Alexander. Willie Hutchinson. I'm not sure about him. Anthony Yard. That's a good name. He's number four. Callum Smith. That's a, a really good name. He's number five. Uh, Alberto Ramirez. Alberto Ramirez. I'm not sure about him. Let's see, All right. Ronald. Gre he already beat Ronald Greville. Huh. That's number 15. Um, Dimitri Bivol is. He has the WBA. Obviously, that's a good fight. You know, kind of pretty much the same. No really extraordinary big names. Um, so I mean. It, it's a few good fights for him at 175. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, you got Jesse Hart. Uh, it's a few good fights for him at 175. Um, but nothing that's gonna be like super big outside of uh, Dimitri Bivol and Archer Better Be. If I'm just gonna be honest with you, but it's more likely that they would give him a shot for a title than. Uh, Canelo at this point. Well, <clears throat> congratulations to uh, David Benavidez for taking his career into his hands. Um, I wonder who Canelo is going to fight after Edgar Berlanga now. Like he's already gonna, already going to see receive a lot of criticism for fighting Edgar Berlanga as he rightfully sh should. But um, you know, I, I'm not. Um, that, that's not a fight. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna buy that fight. I'm not gonna support that fight unless if they have one hell of an undercard. Um, 
I just, I don't, I'm not interested in seeing Canelo beat the hell out of Edgar Belanger. Uh, you know, it is what it is. So, anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Who do you see Canelo fighting at the Edgar Belanger? But what do I know?